All right, so let's look at how to add text and other PowerPoint objects on top of videos in PowerPoint 2010. So let's go to a blank slide here. I've got another PowerPoint slide open. And what we have here is we've got a video, and so we play the video. Um, I'm going to play it, and you can see there's this white horse. And we're going to have something on top of this slide, and uh, we'll have that come in here. So what's pretty cool is I can take this PowerPoint object here, and I can place it on top of the video and uh, it actually is going to respect the layering. So the video is on a layer below the object. So when I play the video here, let's play it, you'll see that the, um, the PowerPoint object stays on there. And that can have animations. It's really neat because you can have a video play and you can have things on top of the video. So you can point out different assets of the video or you can have little text bubbles or or whatever you want it to be. So let's see how we would work that if we wanted the video to come in, we wanted these objects to come in and go out. So we would use the bookmarks feature. So um, we've got this here. Let's animate this first. So we want to animate this and what we want to do is, let's make sure there's no animations on here at all. Um, and uh, I don't know why this has an animation on it. Let's click this to make sure there's no animations as well. So um, we've got this shape here and then we're going to animate it. So we're going to have it fly in and we'll have it fly in but we're going to have it fly in from the top and then uh, we're going to add another animation. We're going to have it fly out and we'll say we're going to have it fly out and go uh, back to the top here. So it's going to drop in and drop out and then what we want to do is let's play the video. Um, so We're going to play the video and then um, we want to have the um, set some bookmarks. So let's play the video here. Let's say uh, at the beginning here, we're going to add a bookmark right here. So we go to playback in the video. I want to make sure the video plays automatically. And then we're going to add a bookmark. And then we'll play it for a little bit. And then we'll uh, do this here. And then we'll add another bookmark. Um, and that'll be when it flies out. So all we need to do now is we need to set triggers for the bookmark. So we've got our animations. We're going to come back to the animations panel. What we want to do is trigger it. So we'll say the first um, animation, which is the fly in, we can click on that. The first animation, we're going to trigger it on the bookmark one. And then the second animation, which actually is now this, the fly out, we want to trigger that on uh, bookmark two. So what should happen is when we play the video, it should play automatically and then it should come in here and then when it hits the bookmark, it should go out. And that's basically how that works. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do because the way PowerPoint 2010 works with layers in the video. And you can go to the home pane, go to your selection panel, and then you can see uh, that the video is just another layer within that and you can move that around. So a lot of cool things to do, it's just a matter of experimenting and figuring out how you might be able to use that feature.